bit of a quick and unscripted um, video, I suppose, about uh, switching a Chongxi X5SA over to take a Big U H2 head. Um, first and foremost, 50 millimeter fan, I think, is a master for cooling. Um, if you look on Thingiverse under my name, you can find um, an adapter, this red bracket here. And uh, as well as that, I've got a fan duct here which just slides onto the 50 millimeter um, blower fan. Uh, and that I found really handy for nozzle changes. I, um, I found that on Thingiverse. I think it might have been off an E3D um, product maybe the mirror or something but at the end of the day the only thing it hangs on is the 50 millimeter fan itself I've also got a backing bracket for mounting the big U what I found though there's once I'd adjusted my e-steps um, I was getting still some really horrible prints and I couldn't quite work out why some of the time on big long prints it wasn't too bad and sometimes it was just awful and I think I realized that after a while um, I guess because the thing's running a small stepper motor and geared up, I really wanted Cura to do most of the acceleration logic and really just open up the taps on the hardware, um, the card itself. So, oh, and there's an energetic print plate too, it's just the best. When you combine that head with that plate um, and good filament, you're really gonna have a good time with these printers. You could have five of them for the price of a volume. Anyway, um, Switching over to Marlin was great, but um, once I went over, as I was saying before, and I got myself happily off track, I couldn't work out really some of the limitations, and I think it's because of the, the geared ratio, which is crazy, because it runs in millimetres, but stick with me, because this changed everything. I had to really open up my acceleration. Um, one of the things I had to open right up was get stupid with the acceleration um, max on the extruder because the hardware seemed to be overriding what Cura was trying to drive. And similarly on the velocity, I had to open up um, the number of steps available to it um, just to let Cura have its head. I've got Cura, Cura driving retraction at three millimeters, which still seems a little bit high and you do get some fairly crazy buzzing and clicking as this little gear um, tries to retract. You'll see it spin its head off hopefully in a minute once it's completed the cycle. And you can hear the audible clicking uh, for a while across the room and then the middle gears that are inside, uh, which are square cut gears, they're not particularly sophisticated because China didn't have anyone to steal the design from perhaps. Um, and there it goes flicking. Um, it, it really, um, was audible there for a while and it seemed to bed in. Um, the other thing that's helped is I've found that um, the lip here on the BQ has a sharp edge inside it and a thread. And I had a couple of these nozzle throats sitting around. In fact, I replaced this one and BQ uses a, a slight flat on the edge. So I had a spare one. I've stuck a copper heat break in now. Um, but just to keep this path heading up, occasionally when I was printing and the filament was coming in at a bit of an angle, it would pull on this hard edge inside and load up. And after a while, I think that drag would wear a flat spot in the filament and the filament would get jagged. Um, so I have had a few issues where if I don't keep the filament orientation directly above the machine, uh, that sucks. I did make a little nut a while ago to sit between um, these two um, uh, bolts or cap screws that sit up the top of the device and run it down there but I just found this a much easier solution. Occasionally I'm finding that um, the heat creep is causing the filament to get a little bit soft and wear a flat spot on the filament and not pull it down so it's not jamming but it just can't get any purchase because um, unlike an E3D product where you can set the tension between the, um, the drive gear on the filament and, uh, and the other side of the filament, um, these have no setting for that. Most of the time I don't need it, but I just found that by orienting the filament straight up and down, that really helped as well. Hopefully changing some of those settings um, 
helps. And the other thing I found in Cura is that I had to change to, um, I think it's called Arc Mesh, and it takes a series of uh, lines, say, on a curve, and it measures them back into a G-code arc instruction, and that really helped as well uh, with blobs and zits. Um, there's some settings in there that I can show you if people find they need it, but hopefully quick five minutes here might help a few people who have mounted the BQ, which I think is just such a simple solution instead of stuffing around with mounting an extruder and then mounting a heater and everything. Um, and it, it just needs, I think, opening up all the settings and letting Cura drive um, maximum speed, maximum acceleration. Cheers.